So today I'm going to play around with the griddle that came with this trailer, 2023 Flagstaff E-Pro. Stick around if you want to watch me set it up and season it and cook up a steak. If you have any suggestions or tips for me, uh, leave them in the comments below. I would love to read every single one of them. Um, I learned so much from the comments, so bring them on and uh, let's do this. But first, the positive thought for today is happiness is not by chance, it's by choice. against the trailer with these built-in pegs. I'll show you. So it hooks on here and it leans against the trailer with these built-in square peg looking things. So I washed it and dried it. This top part comes right off. Uh, it just lays right on top. These little pegs go into the holes and put it back on. So that's pretty easy peasy. This is the this is the connector device that connects the grill to underneath the trailer where there is the propane hookup. I'll show you. It's right there. So just take this cap off and then I plug in this end and yeah, so I'll show you. And this is the other side that hooks up to the grill. See how it locks it. Can't pull it back to put it on if it's locked. I'm gonna go on this side. There we go. That was easy. Now I can flip it to on, and it's pretty locked on there, so we're safe, we're good, it's on there. Don't think it'd be popping off or anything. We're good. Both valves are to um, flip to on. So we are gonna light this thing up. Let's do it. All right, it's lit up. I can see the flame in there. I've seen on, I saw on a video that the heat can get to the, the trailer, but I mean, I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on that and just kind of feel back here and see if it gets really hot because I want to know about that. I don't want my trailer melting or anything or causing damage. Can't be any hotter than roasting in Florida, right? All right, so it is lit up and I'm going to let it burn for a minute and we'll get the oil. I am using grapeseed oil to season. I'm doing this right. 
know if I should put it on high or turning colors like it's supposed to. Okay, this table also came with the trailer. And just kind of hook it on there. Like so, and you got a little table to put your, your stuff on. So I am gonna go ahead and cook this steak, see how this works. Nice and sturdy table. I'm almost too short for it. <laughs> Short people problems. <laughs> Check out this cool Forest River spatula that came with it. I mean, to be honest, this is the coolest spatula I've ever seen. It says Forest River on it. Got a bottle opener on the bottom of it or the end of it. Heck yeah, score. Sturdy. Yep, so I got my my steak all seasoned with some my favorite seasonings. I got a little piece of salmon, olive oil, that's all I got for cooking. Um, I've never used grapeseed oil for cooking. I just heard that it's best to season the cast iron with, so I don't know about cooking with grapeseed oil, but I like olive oil. Uh, I would probably cook the steak in butter if I, I'm not a butter. But I got some onion and garlic, so I'm gonna test out cooking all these things on this grill here. So well, let's heat up my oil here. neighborhood is probably going to be like, what is going on over there? It smells so good. The steak is a ribeye, by the way, if anybody was wondering. I like my steak medium rare. it just a tad but it is still really good mm. I mean, super tender mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the happy steak dance mm. I'm gonna be cooking on this thing a lot more so I wonder if I should get like a table or something to put it like away from the trailer let me know oh this is kind of handy and really convenient to have it right here, but I don't want to be ruining my trailer. Mmm. Um, and the salmon turned out really, really good. See? I made a surfing trip on here. Mm. I would say that this has been a success. Okay, that's a wrap. Mm. I'm 
I'm gonna wash this off with some water, no soap, right? Don't use soap on cast iron, am I right? Water, wipe it down, and then I'm gonna cover it in oil so it doesn't rust, and then I'm gonna put it back in the trailer, but of course I'm gonna let it cool off while I eat a steak, a steak. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna be going on an adventure soon. I just don't know where yet. I have an idea, but stay tuned for that and subscribe if you want to be notified. See you next time.